hi guys welcome back to the studio i hope you're all doing great today now in a previous lesson i showed you how to calculate the required amount of wallpaper that you would need for a given space in fact i did two lessons one for wallpaper without pattern repeat and one for wallpaper with pattern repeat what i want to do in this lesson today is teach you an alternate way to calculate wallpaper for your walls in the previous lesson we did the strip um, method so what we did was calculate how many strips we would need to cover our room in this method i will be doing the square footage okay so we'll find out the square footage of all the walls on my whiteboard here i have four little boxes that represent a room the room is eight feet high and 10 feet wide so each wall is eight feet high and 10 feet wide it's a square space for ease of calculation i'll use a square space and one wall has a doorway that is seven feet high and 32 inches wide an outside wall has a window that's 48 inches wide and 48 inches high now the wallpaper that we will be using has 55 square feet of wallpaper in the roll the first thing we want to do is take our wall measurement and do the square footage so if one wall is eight feet high and 10 feet wide, the square footage of this wall would be eight multiply by 10. 10 eights are 80. So the one wall is 80 square feet. All the walls are the same measurement. Therefore, we will multiply 80 square feet by four because we have four walls. So that's 80 multiplied by four equals four zero zero and four eights are 32. So the room is 320 square feet. So we need to cover 320 square feet of wall. However, in the first wall, we have a doorway that's seven feet high by 32 inches wide. So we need to find out the square footage of this space on this wall. So what we'll do is multiply the height of the doorway by the width of the doorway. However, the width is 32 inches and the height is seven feet. What we'll have to do in order to multiply the square footage is convert the feet to inches and then multiply by 32 inches therefore we will have 7 multiply by 12 equals 2 sevens are 14 and 7 ones are 7 plus 2 84 and we multiply by 12 because they're 12 inches in a foot now we have this 84 inches we'll go ahead and multiply this 
by 32 inches. So that's 84 multiplied by 32. Two fours are eight. Two eights are 16. Now we're over to the tens. So we'll do three fours or 12. Put the two under here and carry the one over here because that's the tens. And three eights are 24 plus one 25. So that's eight, eight, six, two. That's 2,688 square inches. Now that we have the square inches for the space here, we will have to go ahead and convert it back to square feet because we're calculating with square feet here so that would be 2688 divided by 144 and we divide by 144 because in order to get our square feet we multiply 12 by 12. So 12 12s are 144. 2,688 divided by 144 equals 18.67 square feet. So that's 18.67 square feet. What we do next is subtract 18.67 square feet from the total number of square feet that we have for the space. So that's 320 square feet and minus 18.67 square feet and that's for the doorway so we have 301.33 square feet left however we have a window that's 48 inches by 48 inches. So we will also have to find the square footage for that window and subtract that from the 301.33. 48 times 48 equals 2,304 square inches. But then we have to convert that to square feet. And therefore, we will divide this 2,304 by 144. That will be 16 square feet. So the window is 16 square feet take the 16 square feet and we subtract that from the 301 and we get 285.33 square feet now this is the total square footage that we need to cover 285.33 square feet. The last thing we do is take the square footage of our wallpaper roll and we will divide the 285 by 
55 square feet. That equals 5.19. Therefore, you will need 5.19 rolls of this wallpaper to cover your space, the walls in your space, that's 8 feet high by 10 feet wide. However, we generally buy wallpaper in full rolls. Therefore, we will have to round up to six rolls of wallpaper. So we will need six rolls of wallpaper to cover this space. So that is how you, you calculate the required amount of wallpaper you need, my friend by using the square footage method. If you have any questions at all, please go ahead and ask them so I can clarify anything that you don't understand when you watch this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, because all that helped my channel to grow and I appreciate it immensely now guys you take care and i'll see you in the next video lesson